the confidence must be at 100%. Uh, I didn't watch much of Queens on TV, but I saw the final for a set and a half, and you know, Murray was just unbelievable. I mean, I just hope he didn't peak too early, but you know, he's such a high uh, quality player that you know he'll do this day in, this day out. But uh, it was really amazing to see how he. I'm not going to say with ease because Kevin is a really tough opponent, but he was playing unbelievable, Andy. So, you know, I think confidence is high. He looked physically, he looked really good. And, uh, you know, so it's the right time for him to play Wimbledon. If I look at the match in Queen, I didn't see many weaknesses. Um, you know, physically he's good. Like I said, uh, he's moving great. So that's very important on grass. Uh, he knows how to play on grass, smart player. So doesn't miss, backhand's all good, so he has volleys, he runs, he's got it all, so um, I wouldn't say many weaknesses. I think if he would lose, he probably would beat up on himself and maybe uh, let it bother him too long a little bit, but uh, besides that, I wouldn't see any weaknesses. Yeah. So uh, coming fresh off a, a loss at the French Open, he's uh, never dropping. Yeah. He's, he's what people might consider to be the favourite to win Wimbledon. Um, how do you think he'll fare this year? Um, I think French Open hurt him a little bit, but I don't think it's going to play any part. You know, this guy's so professional and he's won so much that this is just another week for him, and uh, he'll uh, he'll be at his best again. You know, it'll be tough to beat, and you would have to say he's probably the favorite because he's won so much and he's tough to beat. But you know, it all depends a little bit on the draw. Also, if if, if it's a final against Murray, it'll be I would. Pick Murray probably, um, you know, and then there's always Feather. I mean, you can never count out Feather. He's always, if he's in a good flow and physically okay, then you know he's uh, he he was the man so, for so long at Wimbledon. So uh, it's a nice mixture of you know different players, different styles, and uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, who comes out on top. After Wimbledon, we've almost immediately got uh, uh, the Davis Cup. Yeah. How do you feel about that? How, what's your what are you sort of looking forward to? Uh, well, you know, it's interesting. It'll be on grass again, so which is great for Murray. So uh, if he can do his thing, probably everybody's thinking, uh, you know, Murray will take two points and then we got to snatch one more game somewhere. Um, but it'll be tough. I mean, it's against France, so they have amazing players also. So, uh, you know, it'll be really interesting. And Davis Cup, to be honest, you never really know. It's one game. It's totally different than playing tournaments by yourself and it's a team effort it's it's a di di different atmosphere I played a couple and it's just it's totally different you're feeling different your sensation on the court is different it's a little more stress I would say you, you know you especially for Murray that they expect him to win but uh, you know in Davis Cup I you know it's tough to say who's going to win because it's always a different atmosphere and it's tough to pick a winner so you talk about Davis Cup being a different atmosphere. Uh, we all know about the difference in fans and how they act. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about that? What are the, what's the difference between something like Wimbledon and something like the Davis Cup in terms of fans? Well, Wimbledon's nice and quiet when you play the points, and not in Davis Cup. You know, everybody's chanting. It takes a lot longer. Uh, there's a lot more times where the referee has to come in between and get the fans down. There's a lot of Mexican waves. There's you know, there's everything. There's there's trumpets. There's noises. There's painting. You know, and you don't see that much in normal tournaments, so it's a totally different atmosphere. And uh, but it's a great one. I think players enjoy it because it is one of those weeks where everything is up, you know, turned upside down. So uh, and it's nice to play in a team for once. And you know, team players always want to play in an individual sport and the other way around. So uh, it's fun for us to have these couple of weeks and uh, have a different feeling in tennis.